Hey guys, Steve V here, and today we're going over my top 5 jailbreak tweaks. For the first tweak, we're going to lock our phone and then unlock it. It's called Swipe. It gives us the iPhone 10 lock screen. The flashlight button works and everything. The only thing that doesn't work, you can't swipe up. It just goes into uh, your control center. So that's why it got number 5. It's a little bit buggy for iOS 11, but it's still a cool tweak. Coming in at number 4, we have Date in Status Bar. And all that does, it's a really simple tweak, but it's a pretty cool tweak at that. It just puts the date in the status bar. See, it says January 17th next to my time up in my status bar. And uh, this got number 4 because it's a really helpful tool. You don't always have to go to your calendar app. You could be in the middle of checking your Facebook or something and someone asks you, oh, what's the date? And you just go and check in your status bar. So I think it's a really helpful tweak. It helps with uh, productivity and stuff, and that's why I got number 4 on my list. Next up, we have another uh, status bar tweak. If you look in the top left, it's called uh, Y Carrier. It puts the name of your Wi-Fi that you're connected to in your carrier location. And if you tap it, you can also switch to your local IP, which uh, is very helpful if you're doing the whole uh, SSH thing with the iOS 11 Electra jailbreak. This is a pretty cool tweak. It's up in your status bar. It just helps you kind of know what you're on. It's not the most productive. It's just kind of a cool add-on. And that's why I got number three on my list. Next up, we have Dark Messages which is number two in my list. What it is, it's pretty much just a dark mode for the messages app, and you can change the color of like your messages boxes and stuff. If you send a message here, let's just say, hi. You can see, uh, I changed mine to a dark blue before it was just the regular system blue, and I changed my sending boxes to completely black instead of dark gray. But uh, it just makes a whole nice dark mode across the app. The only downside is that in iOS, I think this was introduced in iOS 10, but it's also in iOS 11. If you click on the App Store button, everything's kind of still white down here. So uh, it's not fully implemented yet for iOS 11, but it's a very cool tweak. Dark Messages also has a really cool settings page where you can change many things, including the colors of the bubbles, you can change like outgoing on iMessage, like I said. I changed mine from default to a darker blue, I changed my SMS from default green to a darker green, and I changed my incoming from dark gray to black. You can also toggle on and off dark mode, you can control with night shift, or you can control with Noctis, and uh, yeah, that's uh, about it for this tweak. And now for my number one favorite tweak. My favorite tweak is Bye Bye HUD. You know how you always get that box on your screen when you turn up and down your volume and it gets in the way of like all your apps and everything? Well, Bye Bye HUD puts a little volume slider at the top of your screen instead of a big box in the middle. If you look at the top of my screen now, you can see I'm adjusting my volume. It also has a lot of customizations. In, well, not a lot, but some customizations in uh, the settings. You can change it from minimal view, which just puts a little uh, percentage in the top left. You can do bar view, which you can see here. Or, my favorite, you can do slider view, which really fits in with the whole iOS style. So that's why I have that one. And... Uh, also, you can choose how you want it to go away. I have mine on fade, so if you watch, it just slowly fades away. And you can also do upwards, where it just goes up. That has been my favorite tweaks for the Electra Jailbreak so far. I will be making more videos as more tweaks come out, or as I find better tweaks, and I also make a video on how to install these tweaks and how to install the Electra Jailbreak. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you later.